Welcome back to Marketing Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. Again, we are talking about marketing experts from around the country doing great things for their clients. Today, we are in Long Beach, California, talking to Kara Sutton of Always Friday. And Kara, welcome to the conversation today. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, it is our pleasure. Now, you are doing some really great things for your clients, and uh, you've been doing marketing for quite a while. So why don't you share with us how you actually got started? Sure. I graduated from USC, um, University of Southern California, focused on advertising and marketing, and took my first job at Shy at Day, which is an agency based in Los Angeles, famous for doing the Apple ads. Um, from there, I went to go work in media, so worked for OMD, doing media buying for clients like CBS Television, um, and then work, later went to work on Patron, Tequila, um, Netflix, and Target. And uh, then started my own company in 2019, just, you know, as I was having my first child and have been doing that now for, I guess, about two years. This is a great background that you have. You really worked with some great agencies and obviously some really strong clients, which gives you a lot of knowledge going into this launch of an agency. So what, what was that spark? What made you decide, okay, now is the time for me to start an agency? You know, I felt that I had been doing it for about a decade and working with some really, really incredible tough clients um, that just have such a strong brand presence and have built incredible ecosystems around their brand. And my dad always said that you should learn from the best and then do it yourself. So I always sought out learning from the very best people in the industry, which wasn't always easy. Um, but all throughout my 20s, that was my main focus. And that really allowed me to, to grow and work on a lot of different brands, um, everything from the budgeting to the you know parts of the creative. And so I realized the time was right for me um, when I wanted to sort of leave LA and go out on my own and see if I could make it happen. I felt like I had enough experience and enough people who would really back me up and vouch for me. Um, when reaching out to clients and serve as references. So that was, that was just, uh, it was really just a gut feeling, I guess, then, you know, at that point. <laughs> but it's good you actually had a blueprint years before of, of really how to develop yourself and really get that knowledge and confidence and, and, and focus of what you wanted to do when you launched yourself out with, uh, with an agency. And which is fantastic and the, the, really the right way that everyone should be uh, looking for mentors and, and, and learning. Um, what, what are some of the things you focus on most with your clients these days? Really understanding what they're trying to achieve. So, you know, there is a difference between marketing and branding. And um, sometimes understanding where the issue is might be leading to a rebrand or leading to, you know, an overhaul of the messaging or replacing themselves in the market because it's so crowded or competitive. Um, and then other times it's really a marketing issue, needing more ad dollars in Facebook or needing more marketing happening in general, more partnerships happening. So for me, it's understanding where the issue is and where I can serve, you know, and be the best help. And I'm always the first person to admit or say if I'm not the right person for the job based on what they need. And I'm always happy to recommend, you know, other friends in the industry or other agencies I've worked with who I feel would do um, exactly what they need. So my bottom line is always about helping my clients improve their business, um, whether that's socially or financially or um, in branding, just depends what they need. So getting to the root of the issue, I think is my number one, my number one thought with working with clients. Which is good because they have a lots of needs and concerns and going to experts like you is, is, is the reason why that uh, they, they hope is going to build the, the, the company to that next level and, and giving them the right guidance can also be a gift to them because you that's your goal too. Whether you're the one to help them or not, they want to get them to that next level, which is, which is really a, a, a very strong thing for, uh, for, for, there should be more companies do, doing that instead of just trying to take on the, the work and then hoping for the best right. along the way. Uh, I see this a, relationship, to be honest. So, you know, I don't, I, I feel like the best clients, they come back time and time again. And so if you have a really great relationship rather than just worrying about that next invoice or that next retainer fee, I've, I've personally found that to be really beneficial and built incredible relationships along the way. So, Which is the true uh, success is building that relationship and, uh, and nurturing it. Now, things change over the course of time. You've obviously seen a lot of different changes in marketing. 
Where do you see the next couple of years as some of the, the big things that you want to focus on with your clients? You know, from a marketing perspective, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Facebook ad dollars slow down, just given, you know, a lot of the privacy and security issues that are happening with Apple right now and cookies sort of going away potentially. Um, I think TikTok is an incredible space for advertisers, depending on what they're working on to be. Um, I'm still a fan of some of the old school advertising tactics, like, you know, sometimes out of home direct mail. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing a lot more happening for cutting edge brands in the virtual reality space, just creating experiences that are virtual um, in that regard, which I don't think is right for every single brand, depending on what you're trying to do. But I think that space is going to continue to just grow and take off. It's definitely a growing market for everybody. And there's a lot of it's, it's being on that that pulse of what's next, that you know what's right and, and not right for your clients, that really is the skill of someone like you in your position of, uh, of, of leading them the right path and helping the right ways to tell their story and, uh, and really gain the response that they, that they absolutely need. So uh, thank you so much for sharing your story, the things, you're, great things you're doing with your, with your clients. And uh, we enjoyed learning more about you and the things that you, you've been doing in your career. Thank you, Howard. I appreciate it. Today was fun. And thank you all for joining us today. Kara really is out there working with clients, getting the best for them, getting their stories told, and uh, getting the responses that they need. That really is the key to marketing itself. So learn more about her here again on Daily Ad Brief. Go out and have a great rest of today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.